Hello everyone. I am Shobhan Dev, TA of E6102. Today, in tutorial 1 of the series tutorial on ANSYS Maxwell 2D, we will learn some basic geometric drawing. So let us start. First, we need to open ANSYS Electronics Desktop. We need to add one project. Click here on Maxwell, then Maxwell 2D. We will save it. Then we will rename the simulation file. So today we will draw this figure. This is basically a transformer. And by drawing this, we will learn some basic drawing tricks and procedures accordingly so here we can see that first there is a outer big square we will first draw it and we need to note that there should be a point of symmetry so for this drawing our point of symmetry will be origin so around this point where the mouse pointer is pointing you can see this will be the point of symmetry that means 0 comma 0 comma 0 so accordingly this is a um, square of side 24 we will draw it first for this select here draw rectangle click here so in the x y z coordinate we will write first the x coordinate that is minus 12 the starting point and y will be 12 z will be 0 enter then zoom out I scroll down you can see the first point has been created you can see here the coordinate system has been changed from x y z to dx dy dz so you need to specify the length along x y and z direction respectively so the length along x direction is 24 y it will be minus 24 and z it will be 0 press enter so the square has been created now we need to draw this smaller rectangle so if it is 0 comma 0 comma 0 then uh, we can see here that the side is 24 and the win window width is 6 and this is also 6 so these three will be 12 so each of them will be 4 so the x coordinate of this line will be plus 2 and y coordinate of this point will be 16 by 2 that's, that, is, that is 8 now we can draw the rectangle again so the first point will be x coordinate is here is 2 tab the y coordinate will be 8 z will be 0 press enter then the length along x axis will be 6 length along y axis will be minus 16 along z axis it will be 0 press enter so our rectangle has been created we need to rename all the things like this is rectangle 1 click here on the model tree come here 
you name it as code enter in the smaller rectangle rectangle 2 here you name it as window 1 enter after that we need to draw these the smallest rectangles so these are act actually the windings so from this origin this will be 2 and this gap is here 0.5 so x coordinate of this line is 2.5 and this point y coordinate of this point is 15 by 2 that is 7.5 and the width of the winding is 0.5 so from here we can draw the winding select rectangle here so the x coordinate will be 2.5 tab y coordinate will be 7.5 tab z coordinate will be 0 press enter in the length along x axis um, is 0. 5 length along y axis is minus 15 length along z axis is 0 press enter so the winding is created first winding is created rename the rectangle one it is rename it as winding enter then we can see the the in one window there is one two three four five five windings are there and all are identical and equally spaced so we can duplicate uh, the first winding to make the others and please note here that the duplication is along one line and that is along positive x-axis so we'll do accordingly now for this duplication we need to select first the object then we need to click here along line then we need to mention the reference point or the base point that is 0 tab 0 tab 0 that is origin click then we need to mention the distance between two adjacent points that is we need to calculate here that if we refer to this point the distance we need to measure the distance between this point and this point that is two identical points of two adjacent uh, objects so it is 0 0.5 then again it is 0 0.5 so the distance along positive x-axis it is 1 we need to mention here that dx is 1 tab dy is 0 tab dz is again 0 press enter now this dialog box has come it is asking for total number of such objects we need 5 write 5 and press, press ok so all the 5 windings has been created now the windings and the window in the right hand side are the same as of the left hand side and if we keep a mirror, mirror along y axis through origin the left hand side part is the mirror image of the right hand side part so we can use that symmetry we will select wind all the five windings and the window at the right hand side and we will dupl duplicate through mirror that is mirror duplicate click on here our base point will be 0 tab 0, zero tab 0 tab 0 enter and after duplication our object will be on the negative x-axis so select any point on negative x-axis click here the all the objects we need are duplicated on the negative x-axis now these windows are uh, of AR so we need to subtract these windows from the code for that select code first then press control window 1 I am, I am renaming it, it as window 2 so window 2 so first select code press control window 1 window 2 then 
go to subtract click here so you can see one column uh, at the left and one column at the right it means the window one and window two will be subtracted from code press ok the two windows has been subtracted from the code and this is our desired drawing it is exactly matches with the figure now i we would like to mention some more things here suppose we need to measure any area of this drawing for this thing select that figure go to measure here select face you can see it is showing area of core equal to 384 millimeter square select any object here you can see the area is 7.5 millimeter square so press control and select other objects the each objects uh, area is 7.5 millimeter square it is shown and all are mentioned separately also you can measure edges go to measure select edge select any of the edge you can see the length of the edge has been measured as 24 millimeter here for this case now make sure in normal operation that this selection is made to object as we last selected one edge it has been changed to edge at this condition if you want to select this core see i am clicking on it but it is not selecting the reason behind this is this select environment has been changed to edge change it to object then click on it it will be selected as object so this is the default condition and it is the normal mode of operation so be aware of it that in most in many cases it is the common mistake that the selection has been changed to other things like face edges etc and that's why some drawing malfunction or simulation malfunction may, may occur so make sure that the selection environment has been changed to as object okay now one more thing i will mention that if you want to uh, make some objects as a united one then select those objects suppose i want to make a single object with these five windings select this press unite it will treat it as a one object that means if i want to push the same current through all of these windings we will make it as a unite united one click one click here you can see it is understanding that these five windings are one single object only then if you want to delete this unite just select this unite press delete on the uh, keyboard it will be ununited as before now see one thing has happened here that previously there was two tabs uh, previously there was one tab only that is vacuum that means under vacuum tab the materials are made with vacuum vacuum material but after ununite on unitation you can see there are four windings here which which have ununited recently those are not assigned yet so we need to assign them select all the windings go here in material select vacuum so all have been assigned as a vacuum material so these are the few important things there are much more to explore here in this environment i think for our course it is sufficient in for for the uh, drawing figure 
if it is required further i will mention it in the further videos and one thing i need to mention that here you can see all the dimension dimensions are absolute dimensions whereas in our simulation for parametric and optometric analysis it may be required that the dimensions will, will be vary, uh, will be varying with the simul simulation time steps for that thing we need to define all the dimensions as a variable and that we will discuss in the next video thank you